Hi. Hello, lovelies. How are ya? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Krista and I do random crap on this channel. Um, one of them is reaction videos to the Cerniolo triplet car videos. Who asked? Nobody. I just love doing it. All right. Space camp. Ooh, there you go. Watermelon this time. Glorious. All right, let's get into it, shall we? We shall. We shall. Does anybody know why Matt was not at Tara Yummy Party for Nick, one Nick, Nick, shut the fuck up. Only Nick buys himself a full box of chocolates. Such a Nick Stereolo move. I really like the water bottles. The lagging is going to irritate me. With the nipples on it. Yeah. I feel like I'm sucking water straight from Mother Nature. I thought this was going to go. So <laughs> All right, guys. This car video or is going to be things. That was crazy. And this is crazy. Hold on a second. Alrighty. Let's see if that worked. I had to get all, all the way out of the video and then come back in it. So let's see if it continues to lag. And I'm so sorry. We're going to talk about things that we find either really corny or really piss us off. Yep. So it's a good video for Nick. Yeah. I actually am feeling really positive recently <laughs> and I have nothing negative. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Taking the last of something and leaving the box. Point at someone you know who does that. <laughs> Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. Just throw it away. Don't break your goddamn. Ow! Dude, are you serious? You. Like, why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> I just like felt my finger go. Did Wait. you? Yeah. You felt your finger make a noise. Yes. That's crazy. Okay. I never. Shade that Matt gives. I love it. Ever, ever, ever do that. So that was my first song. Why don't you go to the dentist and check if you have a cavity? <laughs> I hate this kid. <laughs> I just like really want to embrace this moment right now. What the fuck? What, what's the to embrace? No, guys, you always freak out when I say shit like that, but it's like, come on, we're back home. Yep. Oh my god. We're in the van together. Mm hmm. Like always, as. As bros. <laughs> As Rose. Rose. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's, I don't even, this doesn't even happen to me because I don't eat it. But like when people make like the mac and cheese, but they'll grab like a second mac and cheese box and open it so that theirs is extra cheesy and then put like the mac and cheese back in the thing. Or like. I'm sorry. I have never experienced this. I didn't. That didn't even like. What? Who's doing this, Matt? If you have a ramen and then take two seasoning packets from and you one. make it like extra chickeny. Yeah, and then you leave the other extra, extra chickeny. Their ramen packet. So the next person that goes to get it is only getting the noodles and isn't getting the seasoning. Well, you should like, you should just throw away the second pack. That's, That's what, what I would I'm do. saying. Like, the, the next person's gonna be like, oh, like, if Nick's, the last... Nick's a bonus seasoner. Wrong. <laughs> Correct, Nick. Do I do that, Matt? I don't know. The, I know that Nick has done that in the past. Would I make my mac and cheese extra cheesy? Yeah. Are you serious? Not <laughs> extra cheesy, but you would make your ramen extra, like, flavorful. I would do that. Correct, I've seen but you I do haven't. it. Anybody else love how they respond to things? They either say wrong or correct. They're like the only people I know. Well, I don't know them. Possibly. Um, I, the only people that I've ever heard do that. Anyway. Where the fuck are my notes? I think tourniquets are like the craziest thing ever. Nick, can you don't like, say shit like that? Like bleeding out and they just like tie the limb off. 
What? <laughs> Why do you bring up tourniquets? Because yes, I had crazy. this charger and I was like wrapping it around my leg. And, and I just think of like in like those zombie movies when someone's like arm gets bit. I think it's just corny if you have to squint. I squint all the time. I know. I think I just think it's cringe. Like it's I'm pretty sure I was just squinting. It's like walk closer. Like if someone's <laughs> like this, like if someone <laughs> got up and walked closer or something instead of squinting, you'd say the same thing though. I I'm I feel personally attacked on this one. Because I really need to get my eyes checked. <sighs> Chris. What? Like, just like squint? What? You can't see from over there? Yeah. Well, no. It's just like, I just think it's like, dude, if you're squinting. No, it's worse when you're like in a seat that you can't really get up from. Like, if you're like at and a game. Like, oh, what does that say? Yeah, if you're at like a game or something, like a like an NBA game or like a baseball game or something. Or like somewhere where you're like having a signed seat, like a theater. Okay. And you're just like this the whole time. So you buy a closer ticket. Chris. Squinty <laughs> McGee. Like, you know what I mean? Come on. I feel like you squint often. That's Me? Why yeah. I no, I it. squint when I laugh. Oh, okay. you're just so cute. I think that you're a chronic squinter and you don't even know it. Yeah. I See, I might be listing things that I do. And that's a thing. Mm. That's like, that's why it's like, this is all our videos are for fun and for entertainment. This is self-reflecting. Matt, you're the king of self-reflecting. I actually mean that. You're like good at it. So what is that? What, what were you getting at, though? I don't know. I was going to say, like, we always... Like, I see people... Like, I think I need a soda. I think I need a soda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want, me to, you want me to go get you a soda? Me and Chris were out the other day, and someone literally told us that we should go to a twin convention. Yeah. Like to our face. Who was, I was it? there? No, no you weren't. that dude. That's exactly what I said. That happened to me. No, because that's what Chris said to me, the girl. He said the girl. She said goes, it to Has us. anyone ever told you guys you should go to a twin convention? And I said no, because I'd never heard. And that. I go, oh yeah. And Chris said, like, oh, yeah. I was like, when? And Chris no, goes, me. literally, me and Matt just had someone so, tell us. Yeah, it was at the car dealership. The lady yes. was like, you. Go, oh, y'all are twins. She, no, and she like, asked if we were in town for it. I was like. No, it's thing. going on. Yeah, yes. that's what I would have said. <laughs> it's going on right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was like, "Oh, you're in town for the convention." And we were like, "As a like, what? convention?" What? She goes, "Y'all twins, right?" And we were like, "Yeah." And she's like, "The twin convention." Like everyone oh, yeah, pulling like, up. Every like, twin sure. ever is pulling up. And she's like, "I got kids, convention. and they go every." Wait, was she serious? Is there actually a twin convention? Is there a triplet convention? Or was she trying to make a joke? Because I feel like I've heard that joke before. Here. I was like, that's no, so she, sad. she tried to convince him to go. Oh, her yeah. kids were like, no, mom, that's fucking stupid. And they, I probably like, they, they probably hate her. They probably hate her. They probably hate her. Well, like, dude, a twin. If mom tried come. getting us to a twin or a triplet convention, I'd laugh in her face. Yeah, right, think no. about it. Corny. No hate. I'm no, going to hear hold That's on. on my list hold of on, things Hold on, hold on. Video's just starting. Oh, my God, you scared the dick in me. You either spit that gum out or learn. The Dickens. How <laughs> to chew? Yeah, one or two options here. How tough are you? Not tough. At oh my god! Oh my god! No! Don't fight! Oh! oh! <laughs> you can't even stick to my face. <laughs> oh my god! Spit it out or learn how to chew. Thank you, dude. Are you serious? Now I got yes. my own. <laughs> that was so funny. I am convinced. I am convinced that Matt does that on purpose. He He's doing it on purpose, guys, because he knows that y'all are going to make a tough little edit of him. He's he's a smart one, that boy. Spit all over my face. Yeah, that was I had gross. it on your sleeve. Well, instead of gum, since you can't eat gum, I did get Chris a gift. Are you serious? I did. <gasps> yeah! I knew it was gonna be him. Me and Nick were just in um, CVS, and I. Oh my god! Sorry, my dogs wanted to stop playing and barking at each other. Resume. Saw this little Reese's bunny, and I was like, "That dude looks stupid," but he's like stupid in a good way. And he's so cute, little Reese's bunny. Oh my god, Nick! What a good gift! Isn't he so cute? 
I mean, uh, he needed to come home. He should sit us. right next to the camera, so now we're just like, he's watching us film. Yeah. I just added a new thing to my list a moment ago of things that annoy me. And it's when people say a big no-no. Like, oh, that'd be a big no-no. He added it to his <laughs> list because I said it. Yeah, correct. I, I can see Matt, like, with little streamers. Like, <laughs> like flipping around in the park. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to throw it this way so you can't grab it again. Aw, privilege taken away. I have, um... I think that they should make a wambulance. Like, if someone's just crying and they don't need an ambulance, and people are like, oh, we gotta call the wambulance for the little baby. Like, what if a wambulance actually came for the little crying babies? Okay, unpopular opinion. <laughs> 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 when people kick the back of your foot or, like, someone's knee pit, like, right here. Oh, my to, like, God. To, like, knock them oh off balance. My God. It's oh so my God. unfunny. Yeah. It's so unfunny. It's just... It actually hurts. Like, you could actually hurt somebody doing that. It's like, dude, like, you're, you're, like, Let's take what? a trip to Home Depot and I'll do it to you in front of a fucking power drill. How about that? Let's do it. <laughs> Nick, you're insane. No, for me, it's like, you know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's not yeah, one of those, like, stumble for it's not one of those, like, 50-50 jokes. You know what I mean? Like, that's hardcore. Yeah. Like, you're you... bending someone's knee. If someone did that to me and I, like, fully fell and embarrassed myself, I think I'd bitch slap them to Mars. <laughs> I'd say, get out of here. You're you're now in orbital spin, motherfucker. <laughs> Vamos. You're out. Vamos? Is it Vamos. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You're, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> see you in, see you at Pluto. Oh yeah, it's like when you like buckle someone's knees. Yeah. That's what it is. When you like imagine like how unfunny it is, like kick the back of their heel. So they like. I have an yeah. unpopular opinion. Go ahead. Of when people are like, "Oh, you're a tattletale," or like, "You're a rat." Like if you tell like a teacher. Yeah. It's like you're fucking obnoxious. Yeah. I, I never believe in like oh telling on someone because it's like I I think it's corny to like if someone's like doing something that they're like I guess not supposed to. But if like you telling on someone, you're telling on someone who's actively infringing your peace. It's completely valid. Like, don't go telling on people if they're like vaping or something. Like, that's their personal problem. Yeah, that's right? that's that's like leave that out of it. Yeah, you know like, I mean? it's corny to like snitch on somebody if it literally doesn't impact you. But if someone's just being a total douchebag, douchebag to, you? to you, and then they're like, "Oh, you are a snitch or you're tattletale," it's like you're a fucking obnoxious loser. Right? Yeah. So it's like <laughs> correct. You know, I'd rather be a tattletale than a motherfucker nobody wants to be around. Wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That sums it up. Uh, number f that was extremely valid, Nick. Love that. Four, I'm guilty on this very heavily. <laughs> I, I put that all right, we got a sheep in the back. <laughs> um, I put parentheses. <laughs> my ears are. I'm gonna read all of my. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 he, he was so close to just like hitting him. Oh my god, that was funny. I hate you. My ears at you, my fucking ass at you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just gonna read all of mine. Nick, you're like... just like a screw. I'm gonna just oh start my. hitting you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Everybody just hitting on Chris. <laughs> Chris, god, stop. God, that stop. was insane. I'm gonna speak. That was a full array of several smacks <laughs> to <laughs> the head. It's just like, you need to stop. You need to stop. Ooh, no fighting. <laughs> if that's the only You guys should do one of those slap right? boxing things where you just bish slap each other. So you you like, shut up, right? You're just so fortunate we're filming a video and I want it to go good. That's all I'll say. Let's carry on. Sounds good. You, if I went up to you and hit you as hard as I can in the back of your head, you'd have terminal fucking brain illness. For the <laughs> stop. Like, if I stop. <laughs> Turn it off. Terminal brain illness. Oh, I love you so much, Chris. And I do agree. Protect the head, okay? Coming from a cognitive skills trainer, please protect your little noggins, please. Sucker punch you in the back of the head in like the kitchen one night, you hitting the back of my head. Stop. You can hit me in the face all you want. The back of my I put it in parentheses. I'm guilty of this heavily. So you guys are gonna be like, Eek! Go ahead. You guys are gonna be like, oh, but you do that. Fully self-aware. Yeah, okay. okay. That's good. People that ask for your opinion and then get mad when you place <laughs> right. your opinion yes. or disagree yeah. on that opinion. Mm -hmm. See, I don't really get mad when people ask my opinion and they disagree with my opinion because 
Well, it's like that's when you realize it's the truth a little. Well, to me, it's to like me. I I give my one hundred percent unprovoked opinion almost one hundred percent of the time. Mm-hmm. So if it's gonna upset somebody, like would like regardless, they don't have to ask for advice to be upset by my opinion. I'll do it anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, okay. like I give my opinion in every scenario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I apologize if you can hear my daughter downstairs woofing at every freaking noise she hears someone could fart across the street and she will freak her shit so i apologize yeah actually that's not true i think you give your opinion in every scenario but i do it peacefully i don't say it rudely who's matt if you show someone like a shirt that you're like kind of on edge of wearing who's kinder about not liking it me or chris you thank you yeah, but that's you two. To you guys, I'll give my full, raw, honest opinion. If it's like an outside person, like a friend, I'm gonna be like, oh, I mean, like, let's, like, I'd word it nicer. But so I'd you're, still be you honest. think that you're ten times nicer to friends than me and Matt? One hundred percent. You guys can say the same to me. So I don't know what you're talking about. You are significantly ruder to me than any other person in your life. It's, it's all I hear in my head. Fill, oh, you're gross. You're disgusting, you and everyone hates you. Up. We should get. <laughs> you're gross, and everybody hates you. I love their dynamic, though, because maybe that's why I don't have any friends, because that's exactly how I act with my friends. But it's out of love. It's out of the love in my heart. Because if I'm not making fun of you, I don't really care about you. Chris, Matt, and I think you get behind this. Oh, like it's like a, it's like five mini guillotines, and we put all his toes in it. Just chop his toes off. Are you serious, Nick? What would you even say that for? That's I think like it's so Chris good. burps like, on you. Pinky out. <laughs> Nick, who am I? I don't know. Fucking the Prince of England. Give me this. <laughs> I have no clue. But I, think, I just think Matt is like so X Games. Like you're the type of kid. Like, X. What is an X game? <laughs> it's like the like BMX and like snowboarding. Like I can just picture Matt being like. Can you stop? Yeah, like, I'm like trying to listen. Are I hear, you like, fucking stupid? That sounds like you have a maraca. <laughs> Me if I ever fucked your bitch. That was good. My dog keeps barking. Give me a second. I'm back from screaming at my daughter. (laughs) Like what? What are you talking about? Oh, the edits, Nick. The edits. (laughs) I had to say something. You guys been fucking yapping and yelling at each other. I had to say something out of pocket so I could regain focus and consciousness to the conversation. Okay, the last thing I said was I find it corny when people actually use their car horn, but I don't know. No, because I, I understand using your car horn if, like, a car is coming at you from the wrong side of the road at hundreds of miles of per hour. Of course, of but it's course. like if you're, like, loosely at a red light and the person's not paying attention. <laughs> Chris is dying right now. <laughs> A little toot toot is good. We don't need to hear it sound like a fucking 90 car pile up inferno is about to happen in front of my ass. I agree. We're chill with the casual, like, beep beep. There's there's a difference between a casual alert with your horn and then acting as if you're about to be in a fucking 90 car massacre. (laughs) (laughs) I fully agree. His laugh. Oh my God. I love it so much. Keep laughing, Chris. My biggest fear, I think, would be once once I learned to drive, if the gods ever align for me to do so, and if someone, if I laid on the horn in front of someone and they got out of their car, yeah, I'd be like that girl in like that um, that meme and like the uh, she's in like the, she takes her hair down, she no. gets ready to fight. No, no, oh. she's she's in the court and she's like standing there like this after finding out that like 
Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, what was your last, <laughs> last sexual interaction with the guy she's like suing? And he was like, this morning. And then they panned her and she's like, Are you. By 2050, there will be more plastic than. Miss Jackson. <laughs> she's like, hello, nervous. <laughs> I just can't react to anything. <laughs> okay, I... Uh, people that love social media a little too much. Yeah, and no, I is, agree. This is a lot. little morbid and a little scary and gross and like... Like all the people freaking out about TikTok. Calm your motherfucking titties. Okay. Calm down. Whatever, I'm sorry. TW trigger warning for those who are triggered easily, whatever. This girl, I remember being in like a sophomore year, or no, it was eighth grade, and I was clicking through my Snapchat stories, and this girl texted me or something, because she was like in my English class, she was like my English partner, and she was like, yeah, I'm not coming to school today, like I have like my like my grandma passed, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry for your loss. And then later in the day, I'm clicking through her Snapchat story, and she posted a photo of like her dead grandmother in like her casket. I was like, oh, yeah, get off your phone! Oh, no. yeah. Nick, that's insane. Don't even say no, that. I fully agree. I am one of those people that, like, I really try to post consistently on the interwebs um, because I'm trying to grow, right? And I want you guys to see what I'm doing. I want you guys to be informed, right? However, there are moments in time when you just need to enjoy the moment. You know what I mean? Obviously, not talking about a funeral. Don't enjoy those moments, right? Obviously, we're not enjoying that. I'm sorry. That was horrible. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, live a little without having to post every second of every day. I, I was that. I was in I remember shock because I was like, I know who you're talking about. Like, anybody yeah, that's just like, like too like, like like they like know the the buttons. I know what you mean. Like with like the, the hacks, the, the Apple, little like, yeah, the Apple yeah. Geek Squad. It's like you go in <laughs> yeah, it's like, like if okay. you actually use a stylus and open the settings yeah, app yeah. and you head all the way down, you can save a percentage of battery life. Yeah, like, people that can't understand human error, like. Like, like if a waitress like accidentally puts like bacon on your mashed potatoes, they're like, "Oh, you fucking bitch!" I, 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 I clearly said no bacon. Like, <laughs> yeah, but like, like, like that's I lot. I hate like, and it's 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 crazy being in LA and like living in LA, like going out to eat. There's some like obviously like super rich people that go out to eat and it's like it terrifies me seeing like these rich people like the other day we went out to like, eat dude. and it was like ninety degrees out. Remember Matt? Yes, and this the coat family, the whole family. There's a family. Do you remember Matt? The family, the family of coats. Oh my god! Matt. There's a family of five people sitting down in the restaurant, and, they, and it was like a it. super nice restaurant. Sure, so it's like they wanted to like show that they had money and they were prepared to spend their money on steak and whatever. And they walk in, and <laughs> the mom, the dad, whatever. and three kids. I think it was a boy and two little girls. Yeah, every single one of them has matching like designer jackets. Like, it was. Movies. Oh, like winter top. coats. I was like, yeah, I'm in a t-shirt and I'm dry heaving over my meal, <laughs> like trying to catch a little glimpse of fucking cold. I'm like, Literally. give me some ice I can fill my socks with and cool my body down. And this whole family <laughs> is in gigantic yeah, in the Alps. Oh, I, thought was, oh I literally looked quick. I thought I was saying this to five fucking yetis. These people were <laughs> <laughs> like in five. <laughs> Completely, I'm like, oh, oh my, my god, god, who invited Marshmallow oh. Fluff himself? The fucking what's his name? The Sherman Tire guy is sitting behind me. <laughs> Family of five. The, the daughters look like they're hot. Did you see my eyelash just like stick to the top of my freaking eyeball? Sorry. Hot? Like they look so hot. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> they're dripping in sweat. And, and like the mom looks like she's like. That was the funniest part for me. Is like the kids are like. Mom, the kids are like so hot. Mom, mom, mom. She like put the jacket on. Yeah, like, like, dude, like, dude. All this, like I, I'm down. Uh, I'm down for like feeling. Like I'm down coat. to feel a little bit uncomfortable for fashion. You know, I can always feel like a sweater might be uncomfortable, but like you look good. Like I'm down yeah, for yeah, a yeah, yeah, discomfort yeah. for fashion. <laughs> but like, dude, fucking, your your kids are sweating. 
tiny. Yeah, your kids feel like they're in a sauna. And you're you're <laughs> burning. You're literally burning the calories. You're burning your like, kids. I thought yeah. you were gonna say that. No, yeah. you're burning the calories. You're oh my god. Right there. But it was so like, funny. Matt literally set a timer. I the kids were gonna. No, I, yeah, I set a, I set a timer <laughs> for how long it was gonna take for all of them to take their jacket off. And it was like 35 minutes or something. The wife never took her jacket off. I think it was yeah. glued to her back. <laughs> it was <laughs> glued to her back. No, that. Th- I. I bet you anything it was the only thing she had on and she completely regretted it. I bet you anything. I've done that before. Like right now, sweating bullets sitting in front of you with this sweater on. I have nothing else underneath, so I can't take it off. Thing was stuck to her. It was crazy. No, and then she'd like take it off one arm and then eat and then put it on the It was actually like unreal. Like, oh like we get it. You guys are designer. You're, and it was you're literally, I just think it's so funny too. Like when you go out to eat with friends and shit and you see something like that, that occupies the whole, whole dinner. dinner. Yeah. Like the whole dinner, we ate our food and we're just so well, focused couldn't on stop. Like, I couldn't stop if these people were going to take their fucking sweaty jackets off. I couldn't literally. stop. Like it looked like at one point I saw the girl and I like felt horrible. It's like, and I'm good. Like, I wanted to just I, get her. A cup of ice I'm water. good at not like, staring in public because it's rude. At one point, I caught myself like this. Yeah, like, like, because I was looking on. at them in such discomfort for myself. Like, no, I you ever look at somebody, you get hot. Yeah, for sure. Like that was going on yeah. too. Dude. I was, I was, and sweating. it's like, dude, I'm a huge like. I get nervous when I eat. Um, like, no, this yeah. might be like a personal thing that I'm just like oversharing right dude. now. What? No, go ahead. You feel I like- said, speaking of being nervous when you eat, do you remember when I pet that dog that was eating at a yeah. Halloween party yeah. and it attacked me? <laughs> yeah. That dog must have been terrified. What was his name? Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I eat, like, it's not like a nervous, like, I'm scared Like, just like thing. you're vulnerable. No, it's not like, a, it's not that. It's like when I do eat, like, because I'm fueling my body and, like, my heart's beating and, like, I'm, like, eating food oh. and, like, drinking waters. <laughs> like, I get nervous that I'm going to, like, go into, like, a fucking heart attack when I eat. Like, okay. shit like that. Like, I just, like, I overthink a lot. And I'm, like, wow, I'm eating a lot of, like, like sugary food. I just, okay. like, get in my head and shit. But when, what the fuck was I, what was the point of Like, the family this? made you nervous because you were, like, No, like, so I have to, whenever I eat, I can't be hot. Like, that's a fun fact about me. Like, if it's, like, 90 degrees out and, like, someone's on a cookout or, like, a picnic, I cannot join in and eat i have to like go inside and sit in the air conditioning of and like even it goes for like restaurants like i i have to take my hoodie off to eat if i'm like in a t-shirt you know what so i mean seeing these people in your the so jacket, seeing these really? people like in like their montclair coats i was genuinely like really nervous like i couldn't Freeze. even eat dude it was I actually was, like, like absurd. it was so weird because i was like i'm sweating no, I was sweating. sweating and I was in a shirt. I just felt bad because they looked hot. I'm yeah. all for like, if you're comfortable, do your thing. These people looked like they wanted nothing more than to take their jacket off Correct. or they were doing it for like the image of like having their jacket on. It was so mm-hmm. funny. Oh, what about, I put just the guy who threw Nick's suitcase. I added that to the list so we could That was oh, insane. As you guys can see, we're in Boston right now, but in order to get here, we obviously took a plane. Correct. And this guy, I was dropping my, you know when you like, I don't know, actually some of you might not have ever been to an airport. When you go to an airport and you check your suitcase they like put it on a conveyor belt like you don't bring your suitcase onto the plane someone else does it so this guy he went to put my suitcase on the conveyor belt and i had a 53 pound suitcase so my suitcase was three pounds overweight (laughs) and And it literally looked like wwe top (laughs) ropes slammed down suitcase into the kid slammed it down i don't care about the professional name (laughs) sorry sorry, i thought you did he took my suitcase what SmackDown? <laughs> <laughs> Smacked it down onto its back left wheel, and I saw the wheel concave onto itself and give out. And I was like, I literally just my whole face. Have you seen the meme of the Chick Fil A girl? She's like, no Chick Fil A sauce. Yeah, I goes, that was me. He dropped my suitcase. My head went oh in my God. shock. I'm like. What are you hucking shit across the room for? <laughs> it's like, it's just ridiculous. It's like, whatever. I understand. He's probably a fucking just tired guy who works at a... But it's like, dude, now whatever. you have to buy a whole new suitcase. Yeah, now I need a new suitcase. He fucking literally, it looked like my suitcase was his worst enemy, <laughs> and he's been waiting 20 years for it to show up to the airport. It was insane. I wouldn't throw someone I hated that hard on the ground. It was unbelievable. Oh my god, it was so funny. Is when people, like, threaten you with, like, you're lucky. They're like, oh, you're lucky, like, my dad is in here, or something. Oh, Chris, you literally did that earlier in the video. 
Uh oh. But you're lucky, like my big brother didn't beat you up. Like when people like say, like when people like threaten people with, like, oh, you're lucky that like something isn't occurring. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why is this happening? Like in the all movies. the time, when motherfuckers are always like, oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. I've never heard this. You've never heard of that. Well, I've heard that. Pause while I find. Pause while I find this. Hold on. Found it. I Stop, Chris. God, Stop. God, that Stop. was in insane. I'm going to speak. That was a full array of several smacks <laughs> to <laughs> the it's just like, you need to stop. You Ooh, need to stop. No fighting. Matt, if that's the only... You guys should do one of those slap right? boxing things where you just bish slap each other. So you you like, shut up, around. right? You're just so fortunate we're filming a video and I want it to go good. That's all I'll say. Let's carry on. Sounds good. You, if I went up to you and hit you as hard as I can in the back of your head, you'd have terminal fucking brain. Okay. I lied. He said you're fortunate that we're in a, in a car. Same shit. Same shit. We're going to continue. You're lucky, you're lucky. I've never heard this. You've never heard of that. Well, I've heard that. I've just Wait, never Chris just said this to you when you um <laughs> when you um Well no, I never say it like in a threatening format. I just genuinely like, oh that was lucky, like you were lucky. Oh no, you just told me I was lucky because I hit you in the head and you said I'm lucky that we're filming a video because you would have knocked me out. Oh that is true. <laughs> like that isn't corny, the way I said it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, you're lucky. Okay. Why yeah. I ought Because <laughs> you just did it, literally. <laughs> Uh, yeah! Woo! Called it. Uh, I just exposed point. myself. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Motherfuckers are like, look who decided to show up. Oh my god. Well, look who it's just all... decided to leave. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look who also just decided. <laughs> Deuces. I'm out. <laughs> well, yeah, look, right back look who decided to look Matt, at you love this one. Because Matt's always the motherfucker that oh walks my god. in when they say that shit. Yeah, look who decided to show up. <gasps> Guess who's a <laughs> Look who back. decided to say goodbye as well. See you later. <laughs> when people say, look who decided to show up, it's like you're always saying it to the motherfucker. You were shocked that they're even there. Oh my god. It's like, let them live. Look who know? decided to show up. Oh my god. I just hate that shit. Look who decided to be the first obnoxious motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, literally. I love that. Uh, no, don't show the video. Don't do it. I'm going to end the video. No, we're not. Don't do it. <laughs> that was a one-man show by Chris Terriola called Don't End the Video. No, please don't end that car video. I'm having so much fun. I have to. I got to go back home. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I think you should rename it Mental Illness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh. Y'all, they are a hoot. They are a hooty hooty hoot. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, they make me laugh every single time. And yeah, like, comment, and share. Share? Can you share YouTube videos? Krista, Kelly? What are you saying? Like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. Let me know if you want me to continue this. And um, yeah, I love you guys. And uh, I'll see you later, alligators.